Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to discuss about constructor overloading and let's get started. Basically like methods, constructors can also be overloaded. It simply means that we can have more than one constructor in the same class with different parameter list or different signatures uh, in such a way that each constructor performs a different task. So we can have multiple constructors, but what is the purpose of having multiple constructors to perform different tasks? Okay, so let's get started. Project, Java project. Let's call it const overload. Okay, I already have it. Construct overload proj. And then we have a class. Let's give a very simple name, demo. All right. So if I take this one out for a while, so I have a class demo. So like constructor, constructor has the same name as class name, right? Is the method that has the same name as class name. All right, so let's put this public static void main back and let's say demo. As simple as that. So this is a constructor it's a method, its name is same as class name. So this is one constructor. And now you see this constructor is empty. It's not taking any parameter and not showing anything at the moment. Now constructor overloading, it simply means if I copy this constructor, now I can't have the same constructor with the same parameter list. It's empty, it's empty. But here, if I say int a, now it's taking a parameter. So it makes it different from this constructor. So now I have two constructors. This is simply constructor overloading. Can I have one more? Yes. This time I say int a and I take one uh, string parameter. So another constructor. So we have three construct overloaded constructor. Okay. Now if we have one more. So in this case, let's say I call a double A and char C. Now we have four overloaded constructors, right? All right, so uh, now how does it work? Each constructor is doing something different. This is uh, taking, not taking a parameter, taking one, taking two, or, parameters here, also taking two. Now we are in the main. If I call create object of this class, our own class demo, so demo obj1 new obj new demo, which constructor will be called? We have four of them. So it will match like method, like method call. So which constructor is not taking any parameter? So it will go here. So let's put something here, system dot out dot print ln. Okay, just put nothing. Okay, however, in this case, Let's put some message, show one value, okay? And what is that value? That is A. Here, let's go show two values, okay? What are those values? One is A and another one we can say is <coughs> just space and name, right? And in this case, I copy this and it also shows two values and this is A and C, okay? Show two values with one char, just to differentiate. 
char character all right so question is when we create object of our class and this which which uh, constructor will be called based on this we see nothing is called okay it means it's like a method call and which method is not taking parameter here this one is not taking this one is taking parameter this one this one and so on right so if i call another i want to call this one so i say i pass five but each time i should have a different object this time we have nothing and show one this one value continue copy third object because each object must be unique now we want to call this one five and john all right so the last one it's uh, double we can put it and uh, like a so which one is matching with this call this one is matching and we should change this there we go okay so we have done constructor overloading uh, with four overloaded constructors and as you know we can't have a return type like void or end because this is a constructor okay uh, how about if we really want to put void what happens any error no error okay <clears throat> in this case no error but here is the error it says what the constructor demo is undefined is not there where is this constructor it is asking because now with void it has become a normal method although coincidentally its name is our, like our class name but now after putting void now this has become a normal method and it can't recognize this one okay so in this case what we do is uh, because we don't have this constructor now i must hide it or delete it now how to call this method because this is a normal method okay because this is in the same <laughs> class okay so i can call it using uh, a normal call but can we really do that for example can i do like this and i say 5.5 and a a but still why it's not getting called it's an error it says cannot make a static reference to a non-static method all right because this is a non-static method and we are calling it from a static method main is a static method just by this keyword so we cannot call a non-static method from within a static method okay either i put this one now error is gone okay that is the easy way or i can use any object of my class and call it for example obj1 now it's the same thing now this will be called so let's see all right so <clears throat> You can either make it static because this is a normal method now, or you can call it through an object. Okay. I hope you understand this concept. See you in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.